If you are just tuning in, this is NBC's Sheila Mack Show here on KCAA Radio, the station that leaves no listener behind. I'm your host, Sheila Mack, and today I'd like to give a special thank you shout out to this episode's sponsor, and that is Carpe. Life can get sweaty and carpe keeps you dry. So David Spratt, co-founder, has lived his whole life with the embarrassment of sweaty hands. At the University of North Carolina, he met Casper Kubica through a shared scholarship program with Duke. The two bonded over always being the sweaty guys in the room. They started having ingredients and chemicals delivered to their dorm rooms and mixing concoctions. After a year and over 60 prototypes, they made something that worked for them. From that dorm room, Carpe was born. We have now helped over one million people live without embarrassing, uncomfortable sweat. Carpe has grown into a full line of antiperspirants for all over the body. Sweat care for everywhere. Sweaty palms, sweaty feet, sweaty um, underarms, sweaty face, etc. Carpe has a solution no matter where, no matter why, and no matter how much you sweat. So if you would like to learn more, go to https colon backslash backslash my m y carpe c a r p e dot com again that is h t t p s colon backslash backslash my carpe dot com you need a guide to show you how we get through a situation like this to give you resources and to help you get out of the emotional pea soup fog of dealing with a crisis and the resulting fallout i've been there and i'm here to help you Read a copy of my Boots formula in the new book, Bootstraps and Bra Straps, the formula to go from rock bottom back into action. Bootstraps and Bra Straps book is on Amazon, Audible, and Kindle. Are you ready for a reboot? Welcome to the Sheila Mack Show, reality at its finest. History reminds us those hit hardest often become the change makers. This year, we've all hit crazy economic, social, and emotional rock bottoms. We all get knocked down. Something hits globally, locally, personally. It affects our health, finances, our relationships. We have to recreate a business or career. Each show, Sheila and her special guest will be sharing their reboot stories, guiding you with real solutions to upgrade and up-level emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, and financially. Here on NBC's KCAA Radio. If you're ready to pull yourself up by the bootstraps and bra straps, enjoy a listen. Here's Sheila. Welcome to the Sheila Mack Show, reality at its finest. Here we have real people sharing real stories and actionable steps to help you reinvent, rebuild, and reboot your business and personal life on your terms. I'm your host, Sheila Mack, and today we have special guest, Rosie Mangerati, a Long Island native, graduated from Brown in 2018, where she studied business and entrepreneurship. In a junior year entrepreneurship coach, she pitched her idea for a better sticky bra, a bra with replacement adhesives. She worked with her team that, that semester, creating a business plan, and upon graduating, she decided to pursue her venture, Perky's full time. She has been working on this for three years now and has three primary products on her website. All right, welcome to the show, Rosie. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Sheila. And the first thing I like to ask is based, this show is actually based on my new best selling book. I'll show you the picture Bootstraps and Bra Straps, the formula to go from rock bottom back into action in any situation. And so I like to start off by asking if you have a time in your business or personal life where you experienced a tough situation and how you got back on track? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I always like to think back to like the initial years of starting this company. Um, I had graduated Brown and decided to pursue this venture full time. Um, and it was really hard because I had to create a product and raise money. And I couldn't raise money without a product, but I couldn't create a product without raising money. Um, and it kind of put me in a bit of a pickle. Um, and I thankfully was resourceful and I kind of sacrificed time in order to create this innovative concept of a stick on bra with replaceable adhesives. Um, 
And basically, for those who are listening and aren't familiar with the sticky bra, sticky bras are backless and strapless bras that stick on directly to a woman's breasts. But after a few wears, they begin to lose adhesion and they get dirty and they're rendered useless. Um, so by offering replacement adhesives, all problems are solved and it's also a more sustainable and affordable option. So anyway, so I graduated and was kind of like, how do I do this? Um, and it literally took three years from when I graduated to when I actually had this hero product out. Um, but I do look at it as a hidden blessing um, because over that time, I networked with everyone, learned how to manufacture a product, um, learned how to source fabrics and whatnot, and was really able to build out the Perky's brand, the name, the color scheme, the vibe, the whole brand identity. Um, and, you know, I guess I, you could look at that as rock bottom, just like not knowing how the heck to start. Um, but at the same time, I was 22 years old, right out of college, had, you know, the rest of my life ahead of me. And I didn't have children to support or a husband or a house. Um, I moved home with my parents and I'm still here. Um, but I was very fortunate to not be taking on all the liability while starting a company. So um, that kind of positioned me to, you know, work through <laughs> the hurdles and get to uh, where I am today. That's incredible. What a story. And to start out so young, that's great. That's one of the things that you learn. It's like you get a PhD in how to start a business, but you have to actually do it. There's no, I, you know, you can get a degree. That's great. But when you actually do the work and you have trial and error, mistake, learnings, all these beautiful things, that's when you get to the end of it and you kind of know way more. And just like in a couple years, so much more than exactly. you ever thought, ever thought you even needed to learn. <laughs> Literally today, I learned like five new things and I'm like, whoa, this is part of it. People say yeah. it's like an accelerated MBA. And instead that of is. spending the money, you're hopefully mm -hmm. making it. <laughs> Not yet for me, but soon. <laughs> yes, yes. So now I want to I want to share a little secret about me that not everybody knows, and that is the the bra on my my cover of my book, Bootstraps and Bra Straps, actually came in memory of my grandmother, who um, actually had a clothing manufacturing company. It was Catalina. Um, sportswear. She did bras and swimsuits. And so I literally, when I was in first grade or kindergarten, my first teacher ever, I told her that she needed a new bra and my grandma could help her out. And after school, my grandmother talked to the teacher because the teacher was kind of concerned. And and then she ended up with this new bra. And so I came from that. <laughs> so I hope my grandchildren vouch for me one day like that. <laughs> Oh, that's so crazy. Yeah, I grew up, we had 200 employees that grandma had. And that's where I was like every day, three, four years old, I was in this uh, clothing manufacturing, she called it the factory. That's and amazing. they would produce all these beautiful bras and, and swimsuits and this and that sportswear. So that that was my oh, background on experience. I love yeah. that. That's such a funny so story. Like, I still to this day I feel fabrics and I like I can't help and I look at stitching and I it's just like it's I didn't go to school for that, but I know it like the back of my hand. So yeah. it's it's just that. something. It is, it is. So it's it's something that um and that was kind of the memory for, for her and she would get it and, and love that. So, she, you know, so sweet. yeah, yeah. So um, where do you see this going as far as um, creating more products or branching out? What, what's the next plan? Yes. Thank you for the question. Um, so it's funny because as I mentioned, the bra took so long to make that in the meantime, I launched Perky's Petals which are reusable nipple covers. Um, so for some women, they don't really want, they don't need the, you know, full coverage or the shirt that they're wearing, depending on the shirt that they're wearing, they don't need the full coverage of like a full sticky bra. So they opt for nipple covers, um, otherwise known as like breast pasties or petals. Um, 
So anyway, I launched, the, I ended up launching those before the bra. Um, and those come in three shades of nude. Um, and they actually are my number one <laughs> selling product, <laughs> believe it or not, which is not surprising for any investor there. They see this all the time. Like the hero product gets you on the map, but mm -hmm. it's these supplementary products that kind of continue allowing for that cash flow and revenue stream. Um, so I did actually start with that product. Then I have the bras and then I had like, was selling hats too, just kind of to get the name out there. Um, and then I, one of my advisors asked me if, you know, to see like how many people are buying the replacement adhesives. So I went through Shopify to kind of look at my orders and I realized that 30% of people buying from my website were buying more than one product. And which is a crazy stat for someone with like two real products on their website. Um, so then I, you know, did some market research and found that seamless thongs are kind of the type of underwear that people are opting for these days. I found a manufacturer that makes quality seamless thongs and cheekies and um, made sure they made them in at least two shades of nude. Um, and anyway, I launched those back or last but in November last month. Um, and those have been doing very well. And now 40% of people buying from my website are buying more than one product. Um, mm -hmm. so I feel like just driving traffic to the website, like build it and they will come. Um, that's kind of what I'm seeing. So that's kind of what I have right now. Um, and I am working on an innovative sports bra concept to be announced. Or, or to be released early summer, late spring. So that's been a fun project I've been working on. Um, and that'll be our first, it's kind of like a sports bra demi top. Mm -hmm. um, so that'll be our first outerwear, nice. um, which I'm excited to make that move because it's hard, you know, making the invisible visible. Like the whole point mm -hmm. of the Perky's brand is to be underclothes. Um, so it'll be exciting to create a product an outerwear product. Um, and Sarah Blakely is my end all be all idol. I yes, her. Yes. she's <laughs> most women's idol, I believe. Um, especially women who are also in the undergarment sector. Um, mm -hmm. but she's just such a boss woman, a great mom, wife, founder, friend. She really does it all. Um, and that's kind of who I can see myself one day not being her, but you know, living that type of life, being like the best in all those categories I just mentioned while running this awesome company and growing it. And just this past month, she sold a majority stake in it to Blackstone at a $1.2 billion valuation. Wow. So, and she was great. Like she, like it took her that many years. She started it when she was what my age, this is like 30 years later mm -hmm. that she did that. So it's, um, you know, been amazing to watch Sphinx go from like the one pair of pantyhose to leggings, arm tights, bras, you name it. Mm -hmm. Um, so I could see myself, you know, expanding potentially to that degree. Um, but it is really fun starting a company. So for all I know, maybe I'll sell this one, start a new company or, um, invest in future female founders. I think that would also be a cool pathway to go down or maybe, interweave that into a new company I one day start. That's great. Now, what was the biggest challenge in being a female starting this whole new business? Was there a challenge that really was like, what is kind of surprising out there? <laughs> yeah. So I do think I'm fortunate to live in this time of like more awareness around female founders and openness to female founders and recognition around female founders and like what they bring to the table. They represent 50% of the population. Like men invest, male investors are stupid to not understand <laughs> female mm -hmm. needs um, and um, or ignorant to not understand female needs. Um, so I do think like we are living in a time, thankfully, again, there's so much more progress that needs to be made, but I have noticed that like, I'm sure a lot of, um, investors have been trying to diversify their portfolio now that they recognize 
the benefits to diversifying their portfolios in terms of like who they invest in and what types of companies they invest in. Um, and I guess there's more so, I mean, there are more male investors than female investors um, and more money being put towards male founded companies than female founded companies. Um, so I guess it's been a lot of explaining what the product is and what mm -hmm. the customer pain point is. Um, and usually these men will go back to their wives, sisters, daughters, if they're old enough um, to kind of get that feedback on like, does this idea make sense? Cause they can't really go out and try it out themselves. Um, but yeah, I haven't ever, I heard one story of someone's, like one guy saying something about me behind my back about there being me not being capable to do this. Um, but that was the only bad yeah. experience I've had, which is lucky. <laughs> it, is, it is. It's almost funny because not you're young and you're, you're a female. And I remember so many times where that gave me the upper hand because people had an idea in their mind that because I started my first business at, you know, 23, 24, opening big gift stores and all this. And it was just like the it was like a secret, you know, it was like, boom, surprise, because they exactly. they didn't expect anything from me. And I was like, all right, then <laughs> fine. You want to think that? Go ahead. Think that. Exactly. Just stay asleep. Wrong. <laughs> yeah, they were so wrong. So there is something about people judging based on a, a, a gender or, or age or anything where it's just, it's so ridiculous. Yeah. You know, and when I, when I had my store, I hired lots of, lots of women um, that wanted to leave like Nordstrom's, these big brand companies to work for my stores. I ended up with five. And wh when they came over to my store, I gave them flex time and I gave them like, I had two nannies and they could have the children there nearby and that was all i could offer because i'm this young person starting out yeah. and it was we outsold like the crabtree and evelyn in the mall they had trips my my lead sales people would get trips to london love that because we sold so much and it was it was fun because nobody expected it and then i hired all these young kids emancipating from foster care that nobody wanted to hire but I came from that when I was a kid at a certain point. So I could interview and I could see, oh my gosh, this is talent. You know, they have like some street wow, I love that. They survived and they really want a chance. And they were like family. And so they, nobody ever stole a penny and they were present for, for everything and they helped the business grow. And now they all, they're all grown. <laughs> they are all grown and they have their own companies. So that's, you know, that was people that missed out on these great young kids or women <laughs> that worked for me that, that were just, you have the last laugh, you know? Yeah, it was the best. It was the best. It was wow. the it was the secret, the secret weapon <laughs> in my marketing and my business that really helped. Yeah. And I do think it is also like a matter of confidence. Like you can't let other people's views or thoughts about you bring you down. You know, I'm sure some people would kind of be like, no, it's a male dominated mm -hmm. world. Like I'm not supposed to be a founder. I'm a woman, whatever. But I think a lot of it comes from inside and your confidence and your willingness to overcome that and not be phased by the people mm -hmm. like that. And, um, you know, recognize how far confidence can really take you. Yeah. And there's this resilience that there are so many times I made mistakes starting out my store and business. Oh, I made every single mistake in the book and then some new ones. And it was like, I just like laughed about it. I guess maybe I was young enough to like not take it seriously. And it wasn't like a reflection on me. It was like, that's that's just part of the learning. That's not a big deal. Yeah. And just dust yourself off like the book, you know, pull yourself back up and get back on track. Exactly. And that's it where you just, a lot of people will give up if mm -hmm. one thing doesn't work out. And there's like a hundred, probably hundreds of things didn't work out when you were starting. Oh, it was like my entire job was putting out fires. It's yeah. So kind of is. Um, but no, I played lacrosse in college and we always talked about like things are going to go wrong 
and it's not mm-hmm. the action, it's your reaction. Like mm-hmm. 90% of life is how you react to things. Yes. Um, and I've completely taken that with me on this entrepreneurial journey. Like things go wrong, whether you freak out about it or take a deep breath and handle it, it's going to have the same, like, or the thing still already happened. <laughs> mm-hmm. So pull your bootstraps up and deal with it. Yes. Um, and don't freak out about it. Don't get down on yourself. Don't mm-hmm. quit on yourself. It's just part of the journey. And everyone always talks about not giving up. And there's a reason for that. Yes, that's so true. Now I'm imagining, I guess the size is one size fits all or are there various? So yeah, so parts? for the Perky's petals, those are pretty much one size fits all. Okay. Um, and then the bras, so the tricky part about a sticky bra is that it doesn't have a back or straps. Um, so it doesn't pull up <laughs> necessarily. Um, so for right now, the bras come in three sizes, A, B, and C. Um, we're looking to expand. We're also looking into boob tape. We'll mm-hmm. have that lift. Um, but for right now, it's just A, B, and C sizes for the bra. And then the underwear, Perky's panties, thongs, and cheekies are extra small to extra large. Okay. All right. Well, that's great. And that's something that, you know, what do you think about giving, if you were to go back in time and give yourself advice before starting this, what would be your main advice? Good question. Um, I'm like, I don't know if I am. I'm in a position to give myself advice. Yeah, maybe in like 10 years. Um, or a warning. Like, what would you say? You know, let me just like kind of give you this warning before you start. Um, let me think. <laughs> um, that's like, just don't, don't be bogged down by the nose. Um, you know, I'm sure a couple years ago, like when someone didn't want to invest in someone with no experience, no product, no, like no, nothing. (laughs) Mm -hmm. I'm sure at points got really frustrated. Um, But now I kind of brush it off. Like I don't let literally anything phase me these days, a bit through the ringer. Um, But I'd say, yeah, that'd probably be my piece of advice. I'm sure I could think of others. (laughs) That's a good one. And yeah, so one of the things that's really important is to remember if you're tuning in and you're starting a business, that it's not like going to be overnight success. It's going to be how many years now? Three years. It's going to take a a few minutes, like six months to a year to peep for people to even know you're up to something different. And that's like your circle of influence. And there's so much marketing. So how does marketing work for you? How is that going? Exactly. So I initially, uh, literally up until like this past month, have been solely word of mouth, um, which is great because I think organic growth is super important. And, you know, having people tell friends about it is like the ultimate, um, you know, proof of concept. Um, it means you're, you've created a good product that works and people are willing to share it. Um So that's been great. Obviously, social media channels, um, just my my own promotion on my own personal account, leveraging my own network is so important. Um, Sending out update emails to friends, family, potential investors, alums from Brown, alums from my high school. Keeping everyone in the know has been great, too. It's been like every six months I try to send out an update, which has been great because people feel like they're invested in the journey. And um, that has also kind of been a good marketing strategy because those people (laughs) typically end up purchasing. Um, And just like trying to capture emails over the last few years has been super important because now they're all on my marketing email lists. Um, And then I just started paid advertising last month through Instagram, Facebook, um, which is you know, starting, we're trying to, you know, still figure it out. Mm -hmm. Um, But I'm excited to kind of see how that happens. And I'm looking into ulterior ways, Um, you know, influencers. I spoke with another Brown founder the other day who started a company called Stack Influence for um, nano influencers to kind Mm -hmm. of promote your product with a more engaged following than 
macro influencers. Um, so that's like, it's just like a strategic way to kind of get your product out there and get hear reviews and kind of um, have people promote it. And then even I found you through Podcorn, um, which is a podcast app or website where you can kind of talk about what your company does and people who either have shows or podcasts can connect with you and you could work with them to kind of either do an interview or be advertised in their mid roll or their pre roll, um, which is another like cool, different type of advertising as opposed to, you know, an Instagram ad. Um, so it's been fun. And this is one of my favorite types of, um, you know, things that have come out of what I'm doing, like doing a live um, interview is awesome. Yes, yes. That's great. And so now I'd love for you to share if you have like a book that inspired you or something that kind of helped you through this as far as a business book or an inspirational, motivational book. Okay. There are two books. One of them kind of got my wheels turning towards going into the nonprofit field, which didn't end up happening. However, I do have, I do fully intend to be more involved in the nonprofit world, whether it's starting a company in that space or um, right now I already donate 5% of proceeds to different charities and the person checking out could actually choose what charity they, that percentage goes to. Um, but that I was inspired by Adam Braun's pencils of promise book and Adam Braun is also nice. a Brown alum. Um, but anyway, that's like a future when one day I have like a big nonprofit, I'll, you know, give that book credit. But for the entrepreneurship book that really inspired me was Shoe Dog by Phil Knight, founder of Nike. Um, and I read that probably back in high school and then again in college. Um, and both times it just struck a chord with me. And I realized that starting a company isn't going to be easy, but it's something that I'm going to do and something that I'm going to succeed at. And um, yeah, I mean, you should, I don't know if you, have you read that book, Sheila? No, I haven't. I'm I like, go read that for I sure. Recommend it. It's really a good read and inspir inspiring and um, especially for a founder. Um, but yeah, yeah, I mean, everyone has their own stories. The How I Built This Podcast is another great um, source of inspiration hearing from all of these founders that mm -hmm. had really, really, really low points that yeah. they didn't think they could come back from. Mm -hmm. and they did. <laughs> so it's just cool to know, like you might feel alone in this journey, especially as a solo founder, but every other founder has been through the same struggles as you have mm -hmm. or worse. Yes. I think there, there's one thing I, as a young um, business owner that I learned starting so young myself was I had to say no a lot to all the fun things. <laughs> I was like, oh man, this is, I want to, I want to go out, but I got business. I got to go, I got to go do these things. And it was that prioritizing and it was really hard because everybody was out having fun and I was still at work and, <laughs> and then it started paying off. And that's, that's kind of the difference is you've got to have that stick to itness, I guess, to, to go through that time where you have to really like, I would go out once or twice a week instead of every day. I mean, Beverly, <laughs> think Beverly Hills, like you could go out every single night here. <laughs> and so that's just the way it is. And I, a lot of times I'd have to say no. And totally. that's just, yeah. So that was, that was a tough one for me. Yeah. But sure. I do think, I mean, for me personally, I mean, I live at home, so I'm like home Monday through Friday. So like, whether I like it or not, <laughs> I'm usually like working late and, you know, not much is going on in my hometown. Um, but on weekends, I'm usually in the city, but I honestly have found so much success in meeting people in the city and um, socializing because I am creating a product for my personal demographic, friends yes. who I hang out with, guys who I hang out with, their girlfriends, sisters, exactly. their friends. And I find it incredibly helpful when I do socialize with those types of people. And um, a lot of times, A, they're giving me good advice and, you know, I'm kind of getting a finger on the, a pulse on the market and kind of like what people are wearing, what people are doing, what people are 
spending. Um, but I also, um, you know, hear great ideas from them and also I'm connected to people through them. Um, Mm -hmm. you know, one of my good friends just connected me with a guy who's helping me run all these digital advertisements and he's not charging me a dime, um, just through like a close friend connection. But you know, that happened over dinner one night, you know, like it's, Uh it's just, Things like that can happen when you put yourself out there and say yes to things. Yeah. Um, obviously not going out every night of the week. Right. No, yeah. It's kind of like prioritizing. Yeah. Or taking a couple nights or, yeah. you know, saying yes to a few social things, I think is very beneficial for me personally and parties. Now, how did how did that show up as far as um now that you have this, you're working from home, how did sh- um, this COVID situation and the pandemic, did that affect business or was that a, you got more business? How did that show up in your... Yes. So COVID happened before I had even launched any product. Oh, okay. um, so I was like, ne- never stuck with inventory. It almost kind of gave me t- gave me an excuse. I was like, they're still not ready. Good, good, yeah. <laughs> um, but it did prolong the process. It, mm-hmm. Basically every product I sent back to China that they sent back to me would take three months instead of three weeks. And uh-huh. we were still sampling. Um, it was terrible. Um, but at that same time, I was really able to like, like I said, like hone in, focus on the brand, the branding, even the product itself. Mm-hmm. Um, it bought me a lot of time to perfect things. Um, and be grateful that I didn't have tons of inventory and that I didn't have to fire people or lay people off. Like I was a one woman show. <laughs> it was, yeah. it was really, I was very lucky. Um, and then thankfully the brawl still launched right before the summer. Mm-hmm. If it would push me back three months, I would have been really annoyed, but it pushed me back from like a January launch to oh, perfect. A May or June launch, which yeah. was fine. Cause no one's really wearing these or less people are wearing them in the colder mm-hmm. months. Makes sense. That's great. All right. Well, we are coming to the end of our interview time. So I'd love for you to share one more time where people can learn more about Perkies. Yes. You can follow Instagram at my Perkies, M-Y-P-E-R-K-I-E-S. And if you want to purchase Perkies, you can go to Perkies.com, P-E-R-K-I-E-S.com. All right. Thank you again, Rosie, for being a guest on the show. And for those tuning in, we'll be back after these messages. Stay tuned. Thanks, Sheila. If you are just tuning in, this is NBC Sheila Mack show here on KCAA radio, the station that leaves no listener behind. I'm your host, Sheila Mack. And today I'd like to give a special thank you and shout out to one of our main sponsors of this show. And that is perkies.com. So a little something to perk up your day, check out perkies.com, P-E-R-K-I-E-S.com. And now back to the show. All right, I'm going to share three tips for anyone starting a new side business. Number one, the first thing is to do some test marketing before you spend a lot of money investing in this business. It's best to see what the market's interested and do small tests. Then the next thing is to actually get everything, get yourself covered legally. So that's get your business license, get an LLC, S Corp or other. And then the next thing is as you go into starting your business, use business credit, start to build your business credit early because that will actually give you more buying power faster than using your personal credit. And it also gives your personal credit the protection of having that credit set aside for when you need it for personal use. And your business credit will actually, it'll give you 10 to 100 times more credit over the years. So start as soon as you can. It, it's less and less based on your personal credit as you build, especially if you do S Corp or LLC, that's going to help a lot in funding your project projects. All right. 
Tahibo Tea Club's original Pure Pouty Arco Super Tea helps you build the red corpuscles in the blood, which can carry oxygen to our organs and cells. Our organs and cells need oxygen to regenerate themselves. The immune system needs oxygen to develop, and cancer dies in oxygen. So the tea is great for healthy people, and it can truly be miraculous for someone fighting a potentially life-threatening disease due to an infection, diabetes, or cancer. A one-pound package of tea is $34.95 plus shipping. To order, please visit lovemysupertea.com. That's love, L-O-V-E, my, M-Y, super, S-U-P-E-R, T, T-E-A, dot com. So the complete website is lovemysupertea.com. Or call 818-288-4128, Monday through Saturday, 9 to 5, California time. That's lovemysupertea.com at 818-288-4128. Right. So recently I had a funny situation where I had this guy message me and he kept messaging me. What the heck is this about? He wanted to know this and that. And I knew it was a sales pitch and he was providing services to help me do certain things that I have no interest doing. <laughs> and so he, he was like, you must want this and I can give it to you. And I thought to myself, well, how interesting, how how much does somebody assume that what my definition of success is has anything to do with what they envision as success? And I just, I finally had to block him because he kept messaging over and over trying to sell me his course or his, I don't know what the heck he was trying to sell me, but it was based on his terms. And you know what? That gets pretty old pretty fast. I don't want to live life on somebody else's terms. I'm designing life on my terms. And so that's really important to me. And it has just given me a lot of freedom. If someone is trying to push something on you that's their vision of their success and it's not something that's your success, don't waste your time. Send them on their way. You know, their advice isn't even worth a dime if it's not aligned. And that's one thing that I believe is that when you're redesigning your life, when you're reinventing, when you're rebuilding, when you're rebooting, when you're starting over from scratch, it is the best time to design life on your terms, to reevaluate and decide, hey, you know what? These are where I'm at right now. These are my new values, my core values that I've taken with me and things that I need to adjust. But this is what success looks like. Success sometimes can be so simple. Does You don't have to take a big vacation to go spend time with your family at the beach or by the pool. You don't have to go spend so much money on gifts when during this holiday season, that gift of time, just playing in the park, playing ball with your kids or playing with your puppy, <laughs> something like that could be your version of success for today and let that be okay because that's what matters most. Thinking about what matters most to you and living into that truth. Own your truth. My version of success and happiness doesn't have to be yours and yours doesn't have to be mine. And that's okay. Living your truth living your pure success. If you're a mom, if you're a parent, if you're a boss, a leader, when you're living in that essence and that truth and sharing from that place, well, that's going to inspire your children, your employees, your coworkers, your friends to live in their truth. And what a beautiful place that is. If you are just tuning in, this is NBC Sheila Mack Show here on KCAA Radio, the station that leaves no listener behind. I'm your host, Sheila Mack, and today I would like to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that is Riverside.fm. Let's talk about Riverside.fm, the leading podcast and video creation platform that I use to record my podcast alongside me professionals like 
Guy Raz from How I Built This and companies such as Spotify and the New York Times use Riverside.fm to record their audio video content remotely. I like Riverside.fm because I can record studio quality audio and up to 4,000 videos on their platform. If I'm interviewing a guest a thousand miles away with the shakiest of internet connections, it still sounds like we're sitting in the same room. It is easy to use, as easy as Zoom, but gives much higher quality audio and video recordings. Other awesome features include options to record from your iPhone, a magic editor to easily edit with a series of simple clicks, and automatic transcriptions. So if you're looking for a hero platform for all your recording needs, from podcasts to webinars to other video content, you should be using Riverside.fm. Sign up today so you can focus on your content and leave the quality to Riverside.fm. If you are just tuning in, this is NBC Sheila Mack Show here on KCAA Radio, the station that leaves no listener behind. I'm your host, Sheila Mack, and today I'd like to give a special thank you and shout out to the sponsors. And one of the sponsors of this episode is... Obvi, it is the obvious choice. So one of the things that I noticed is that the lack of collagen causes aging, hair loss, wrinkles, brittle nails, and so much more. Products on the market today are so boring and they actually taste nasty. So the obvious solution I have found is Obvi, a fun brand with amazing flavors such as fruity cereal, cocoa cereal, cinna cereal, and it tastes amazing. The benefits include glowing skin, luscious hair, strong nails, joint support, and much more. They are the obvious choice with more appealing, good tasting collagen. Avi has over 200,000 customers, 45,000 members, their Facebook group with tons of transformations and success stories. Go to tryobvi.com. That is T-R-Y-O-B-V-I.com. The obvious choice. So a little bit more about collagen and collagen formulas. Collagen doesn't absorb in a typical person's body. Most collagen supplements in the market don't have high absorption rates. However, with the other ingredients added, such as vitamin C, magnesium, iron, calcium, and more, it has greatly increased the bioavailability and absorption rate of the obvi, obvious choice collagen versus leading competitors. See, our bodies need more collagen as we age. Collagen production. After the age of 20, a person produces about 1% less collagen in the skin each year. After around 30, our natural collagen production begins to decline rapidly. As a result, hair, skin, and nails become thinner and more fragile with age. It's obvious you need collagen early on in life, so why wait to fight aging when you can avoid it altogether? Obvi uses only the highest quality hydrolyzed grass-fed bovine multi-collagen peptides. Type 1 and type 3 collagen both help maintain the health and structure of skin, hair, bones, muscles, tendons, ligaments, blood vessels, and organs. So to learn more Go to the obvious choice for your collagen and wellness needs. Go to tryobvi.com. That's T R Y O B V I.com. Tryobvi.com. It's the holidays, and I'm dealing with an overwhelming sense of grief that is secondary to the loss of my family members that occurred during the holiday season almost two years ago. I'm attempting to resume my family traditions with a smile on my face, but my heart is troubled and sad. I'm grateful for the numerous friends and my support network that I am blessed with. However, I'm hoping that you can offer some insight and suggestions to help me keep my healing heart in perpetual motion this time of year. Thank you. Sincerely, Blue Christmas. Dear Blue Christmas, I'm so sorry for your loss. Losing more than one family member during the holidays is very difficult. I can't imagine. Um, And one of the things that has helped me get through holiday seasons, because I've lost quite a few family members myself, 
was to change my, my holiday celebrations, to celebrate my loved ones that have crossed over in a different way, gave me a new tradition. And that, that may help you as well. I'm not sure how you celebrate your holidays or how you did in the past, but save a place for them at the table, maybe have a ceremony for them and send them love, and then stop and pause for a moment before you plan your holidays this season and think about what, if they were living with you today, now, what would they want for you as, as your as your relative, what would they want to see for your happiest holiday this year? Uh, for myself, with my children, I think what I would want for my children is to for them to continue to celebrate and live their best life every day, including on the holidays. And I would appreciate their memories and, and thoughts of me. So I think that may help. And just forming new new traditions. Because whenever there is a life shift, whatever it is, divorce, um, our kids grow up and they have their own family units, they can't travel to see us, whatever it is, our holidays are going to shift over time. And, and grieving a loved loss of more than one loved one is the hardest um, for sure, yet these are things that, that are going to happen. And so to have a new form of holiday will, will make a big difference for you. I hope this helps. As always, I wish you life, love, laughter, and light. Thank you for listening to Dear Sheila. I'm your host, Sheila Mack, and I wanted to take a moment to reflect on one of my favorite authors and quotes. The quote is, create a definite plan for carrying out your desire and begin at once, whether you're ready or not to put this plan into action. And the author was Napoleon Hill. A little bit about what I do is I help people to reinvent, rebuild, and reboot their business and personal life on their terms. And so I do consulting. I, I have a book out. And I also have a radio and TV show. Tahibo Tea Club's original Pure Pouty Arco Super Tea helps you build the red corpuscles in the blood which can carry oxygen to our organs and cells. Our organs and cells need oxygen to regenerate themselves. The immune system needs oxygen to develop and cancer dies in oxygen. So the tea is great for healthy people and it can truly be miraculous for someone fighting a potentially life-threatening disease due to an infection, diabetes, or cancer. A one-pound package of tea is $34.95 plus shipping. To order, please visit lovemysupertea.com. That's love, L-O-V-E, my, M-Y, super, S-U-P-E-R, T, T E A dot com. So the complete website is lovemysupertea.com or call 818-288-4128 Monday through Saturday, 9 to 5 California time. That's lovemysupertea.com at 818-288-4128. Holiday rules and traditions. So I raised three incredible children and then adopted three more. So this family of six diverse children, it, it was wonderful. And our holidays went well. For many years, we had the big Thanksgiving meal that everybody else has. And while we had elders that were still living and family and friends that were older that, that didn't have anywhere to go, we always had a big Thanksgiving, traditional Thanksgiving meal. And then we realized one day uh, we had these family group discussions and all the kids voted out the Thanksgiving meal. And... I was like, what are you talking about? And they were like, well, you know what? We want our mom. We don't want you to cook for four days straight. <laughs> and we don't, we don't, we don't even like turkey and we don't like the stuffing and we don't like the bread. We don't like any of that food. And, and it was just this funny thing that we had. And, you know, a lot of our loved ones have, have passed on, crossed over that were the parent elders, the grandparents who we entertained. And so then it was our own private Thanksgiving again. And we changed our traditions. We changed our traditions based on the fact that 
I didn't even, I didn't want to eat the food because I'm always on this wellness kick trying to get in shape or whatever. And the kids didn't want to eat the food. I was like, okay, why am I spending money and time on food that nobody really wants? And it's obligatory. It's like this obligation that we have to do this traditional thing because that's what you do. Guess what? You don't have to do that. You can create your own traditions for your family based on your terms. It is morally neutral, whether you serve turkey or not, or whether you have a big meal, or maybe you have a healthy meal and go do something fun. So we have different traditions now. We watch certain movies that we all choose and we have fun meals (laughs) <laughs> but but it's really not about the food. It's about the time together as a family for us. And everybody's Thanksgiving wishes or holiday celebrations, new families, guess what? Create it on your terms. Make it so that your family, you and your family enjoy the food, enjoy the, the people around you at that table and enjoy this time, this time of gratitude and thanksgiving. We can make it what we want as a family or as a single person. Let this be your choice. This is your holiday, not based on these rules. Have you lost your job? Have you lost a loved one? Are you exhausted caring for your parents, for your kids? Well, you can find immediate relief when you read Sheila Mack's new number one bestseller, Bootstraps and Bra Straps. It contains the boots formula to move from rock bottom back into action in any situation, especially right now. The life has knocked you down. Pick yourself up with Bootstraps and Bra Straps. Get your copy at www.SheilaMack.com today. Tahibo Tea Club's original Pure Pouty Arco Super Tea helps you build the red corpuscles in the blood which can carry oxygen to our organs and cells. Our organs and cells need oxygen to regenerate themselves. The immune system needs oxygen to develop and cancer dies in oxygen. So the tea is great for healthy people and it can truly be miraculous for someone fighting a potentially life-threatening disease due to an infection, diabetes, or cancer. A one-pound package of tea is $34.95 plus shipping. To order, please visit lovemysupertea.com. That's love, L-O-V-E, my, M-Y, super, S-U-P-E-R, T, T E A.com. So the complete website is lovemysupertea.com or call 818-288-4128 Monday through Saturday, 9 to 5 California time. That's lovemysupertea.com at 818-288-4128. You need a guide to show you how we get through a situation like this, to give you resources and to help you get out of the emotional pea soup fog of dealing with a crisis and the resulting fallout. I've been there and I'm here to help you. Read a copy of my boots formula in the new book, Bootstraps and Bra Straps, the formula to go from rock bottom back into action. Bootstraps and Bra Straps book is on Amazon, Audible, and Kindle. Why would you want to get married when you're not ready? Or, you know, but but it's, it's a different thought process. And so when you're in a relationship and somebody's thinking, yes, we're going to get married because that's what you're supposed to do. And the other person's like, no, I'm suffocated. I don't want to do that right now. Now is not the time. And it may be your now in that you don't want to be tied down to that model. Or if you find somebody that's completely free like you are and you're like, hey, we can have fun. We can do this. And we have our agreements. You may jump into that relationship and be like, this is the best ever. But if you don't find something that aligns with where you're at in your life, it's kind of not being in integrity and honest with with the other person if you're pretending i'm gonna marry you i'm gonna show up we're gonna have this or that so integrity look at this yes yes so so integrity is everything i mean i don't know as a woman i think it's really important to just be honest about things when you go into relationships a lot of people though when you say that they think oh i can change him i can change her and i can change myself i can't change you 
And so when people start getting into this whole, maybe I can change him, maybe I can change her, you're not in it for the right, you're not in the relationship for you. You're in it for, for you're not in it for them, you're in it for you. That's right, because the essence of the person, who they're being, who they show up as on this planet, that's the beauty in them. That's the part that you love about them. And if you don't let them or want them to be who they are, then you, you're you loving a different, a fantasy person. That's not your person. Exactly. So, yes, it's, it's really important. And there are people that align that, you know, they want freedom and they, they have a, a wonderful companionship and fun. And that's what they want. So, you know, success in a relationship is a different definition. If you probably, if you surveyed a thousand people, it'd be different. So to have two people attracted to each other that align on that, come together, it's, <laughs> it takes time. And it, I love that though, honesty and integrity. So when I mapped out the Boots formula and the outline to this book, I made sure that I included a support community of friends so that we can all share our stories, inspire and empower one another, just like that beautiful community that's carried me through all these years. And so here it is, my latest book. I have to let you know something, just between you and me. This book is not one size fits all, just like a pair of boots or a bra. So. The formula is designed to help you through any situation. Thank you for tuning in to the Sheila Mack Show, Reality at its Finest, where we share real situations with real solutions to help you rebuild, reinvent, and reboot your life on your terms. I'm your host, Sheila Mack. I'm giving you some homework. Grab a copy of my bestseller, Bootstraps and Bra Straps, to learn the formula to go from rock bottom and back into action in any situation. If you have a burning question for the show, send it in to www.dearsheila.com. Tune in again Mondays at 1 p.m. Pacific Time and Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Pacific Time right here on KCAA, the station that leaves no listener behind.